Now, the next lure that I'm going to show you is actually called a Fin S fish. It's made by Lanker City. It's kind of like the one with the paddle tail, but it has no paddle tail. Look, it's just straight. It's got a nice soft plastic, and I have a eighth ounce jig head on it. I've got a short fluorocarbon leader, and then I've got a swivel, because this one falls and planes in different directions, and sometimes rolls over itself. So I've got the swivel in there so that it takes out any twisting in the line. Because the last thing I want is the line to loop and come off my reel when I go to cast. So I'm going to demonstrate this lure by casting it out. And I'm going to just kind of jig it back and I'm going to just lift my rod tip and shake it. So when I get closer, I'm going to just do a vertical jigging presentation. This probably looks the most lifelike, that's why they call it a finesse fish, like a struggling bait fish. I only get to see a top view from here. But I'm sure if you see the profile, I can let it touch the bottom and bring it up. If you ever get a chance to fish the Detroit River, March, April, May, it's one of the best fisheries in Southern Ontario. This is probably the number one lure to use on a 5 8 ounce jig head. Just lifting it like this and lowering it as you go with the current. I don't think anybody uses real minnows there, live minnows, because this is so effective. I'm gonna cast it this time and swim it back to me. So I'm gonna let it fall to the bottom. That's why I have the jig head on there so it sinks. And I'm just very gently, if you keep one eye on the finesse fish and one eye on my rod tip, I'm not jigging, I'm shaking it. And you can see that I've got several customers that have tried to inhale it because it looks so lifelike, okay? So it's an excellent bait, it's called a finesse fish. To fish under any conditions, you can fish it shallower, but it's really designed to be fished along the bottom.